violet color is often associated with inspiration, peace and ambition. It can inspire and give hope to people. The word violet is derived from a flower named Viola. shows the depth of love. Its invisible presence makes the rainbow more beautiful. I'm 
because they are pure everyone has a memory of chasing green grasshoppers in their childhood the green beauty of nature is a perfect reflection of the art of god may our hands have the strength to hold a green umbrella for our earth
the color of adoration and loyalty. The sunflower faces the sun always with its bright yellow color and blossoms in the sun's rays. Many poets have written beautifully about the color yellow in their poems. Have you ever tried to participate in a competition? No other colors can inspire you like yellow. from problems and provides energy and confidence. Hey, sir, kiss me, kiss me, kiss me, kiss me, kiss me. Aaj mukti ne kyun bhagwaya ke mukti ne kiri. Mere ke mere kuti tari ki vayari. Aba wata jana pinna lagi yatta na kodi. Bana ja kar pono da mura na jale. Ana raja wana jati bala pulla bandale. Kiri ja koi lata sutti bandale. Ana jodi jodi ana lama kandi ne naale. Dena mura. ോടി <laughs>
are the ideas of rebirth and regrowth. The all earth bears a green blanket and it comes to life again. The nature gives a visual treat to our hungry eyes. The tiny buds of the flowers peep to see the beautiful sight of nature. Spring is the season in which the voice of the nature is heard everywhere. witnessing the snowflake and the morning dew on flowers is it really the most wonderful time of the year in my eyes it is it is something completely different of course we can experience the gorgeous beauty of nature
droplets to envelop the entire world and erase its thirst it often declared that this is the tear drops of the god from the heaven the rain holds a various emotion they range from the love to anger and the life to death definitely it is one of the most wonderful moment of nature proud embodiment of the world that holds the all wonders at the end of your life you create a big split in the skyline you are the only one doing right and making noise on this earth of course you are the naughty child of the earth <laughs> I'm 
கூட்டி பார்த்த என் கூட வர கேட்ட நிலா வயல் கையோட நீ குட்டி வரடி Wind, you are a magician who gives relief to the weary people. You are keeping us cool and happy. To sustain our nature, you play a great role. Sometimes you are getting stronger and tightly embrace our nature. So, you are the mischievous child of the nature.
துட்டு கப்ப கிளங்க ஏ கப்பத்தாச்சு முருக்கே ஏத்து விட்ட மொத்த கிருக்கே summer season is the hottest but it is also the most entertaining and interesting season this is the time the vegetation and animals all seem to come alive we are surrounded by colors of varying types in vegetation colorful birds flying around and animals having more fun There's a warm, clear blue skies and exotic rainbow displays. These all make the summer season an exciting one. I welcome everyone to this wonderful show.
हेलो हेलो दिव्या आर यू स्टिल स्लीपिंग ओ इट्स यू कम ऑन से व्हाट मेड यू कॉल मी सो अर्ली ओनली टू डिस्टर्ब मी यू लेजी फेलो इट वाज यू हु टोल्ड मी यस्टरडे टू वेक यू अप अर्ली मॉर्निंग आई नो आई नो हे डियर इट्स हाई टाइम दैट वी वेक अप अर्ली मॉर्निंग ओनली प्लीज एंड प्रिपेयर फॉर द ओनम एग्जाम यस You know how good we are at maths, don't you? Yeah, I know. And don't forget that a principal would call our parents if we don't manage to pass. Hmm, I know very well how studious you are. Ramya, please, I want to sleep. Don't disturb me, or else I'll disconnect. Hey, Divya, don't do that. Listen, listen to me. So, ask her. X2 minus X1 whole square plus Y2 minus Y1 whole square equal to R square. What's that? Oh, it is you, my sweetest feather. Where were you all these years? I missed you so much. Do you remember that memorable day I found you? Yes, it was on Sri Krishna Jayanti. On that auspicious day, we saw so many little cute Krishnas. How wonderful was their dance! My sweetest feather. Mom, please, mom, one minute, mom, please. 
enough now. Have this and go and take bath. Freshen up and study. Only then will you understand what you are learning. Come on, go now. Okay, I'll take a bath. Mom, you please go. See, Divya, Dad is already awake. Okay? Okay. to my parents. The first time I stepped into my school, the school welcomed me with this beautiful cap. The last year, I witnessed all the kitchen newcomers day of my school. You know how wonderful it was? Little tiny toddlers, all beautifully dressed. Basketball under 19 player, director for the runners, principal sister Josman, vice principal Sanjaman, parents, my dear students, and staff. A great saying goes education is the passport to the future, but tomorrow belongs to those who prepare for it today. 
in the voyage of the discovery of excellence in the field of education, our endeavor of keeping the values, love and peace in our thought, word and action continues. Tracing the journey of the institution from the year of inception in 2017, it was indeed from a very modest and humble beginning we have reached the stage today. This year has been a very eventful one for us too, after the long two years of virtual mode. At this juncture, I wish to put on record my sincere gratitude to the management, staff, students and the BTA for your kind support and guidance. We have made great efforts to transform ourselves and have extremely successful in most of our endeavors. It is a matter of great importance to us that the students who pass out from our portals should carry forward the values they have inherited, excel in whatever they do and be role models in the society. A leader is one who knows the way, goes the way and shows the way. Our vision is to create a dynamic environment to bring out the best of every student with learnings focused on the complete development of a child. Our mission is to achieve the holistic development of students through an excellent academic and physical environment that is conducive to learning, developing creativity and exploration, thus creating healthy, strong, disciplined, bold and competent citizens who will work for the betterment of the nation. Learning gives creativity, creativity leads to thinking, thinking provides knowledge and knowledge makes you great. The summer camp was held in the school in May 2022 and around 100 students attended the whole program. Price Nether Public School saw its opening in the offline mode for the academic year 2022-23 on 6 June 2022 after a gap of long two years. The staff along with the management welcomed the students and their parents. Excellence is an art won by training and habituation. Competitions and academic activities that go beyond the textbooks and the classrooms encourage and foster a healthy and competitive spirit and effective communication skills in the students. To promote the competitive spirit and to bring out the talent of the students, they were encouraged to participate in various co-curricular activities which are conducted at classroom level, school level and at house level. Students were also honored by His Excellency Mar Sebastian Adentra with badges for class toppers, best punctual student, best disciplined student and best calligraphy titles during His Excellency's school visit. Aristotle rightly said that educating the mind without educating the heart is no education at all. Art integrated learning has been a hallmark of the school. Value-based education is given for self-development and personality development with the aim to inculcate in students various holistic values. Remedial teaching, extra classes, revisions, unit tests, class tests, assignments, project work, end-of-term exams have kept them busy throughout the year. In addition, throughout the school year, assemblies are conducted on a wide variety of value-based themes and topics. Class-based assemblies were conducted every day to provide ample opportunities for all our students to come forth with self-courage and express the abilities of public speaking, news reading, thought sharing, etc. The theme-based bulletin boards and soft boards made by the students also contribute to elaborative learning for all age groups in the school. Literary Club, Max Club, Science Club, Art and Crafts Club, etc. were formed to create a dedicated study and interest in students in particular areas where they have more interest. Periodical assessments and evaluations are conducted for the students and their progress are informed to the parents regularly. Subject enrichment activities are done by the students and teachers evaluate these as internal assessments. Co-curricular activities are an essential part of the life of an educational institution as they strengthen the classroom learning as well as develop the personality of the child and harness the in-depth potential of students. The month of August welcomed the introduction of various co-curricular activities like dance, skating, taekwondo, and writing, carom and chess. Regular staff meetings are conducted to evaluate the quality of performance and plan with more innovative methods of teaching and learning programs. The school's first VTM was conducted on 13th, 14th and 15th October for this academic year and later on 3rd of this month. The PT General Body Meeting is an occasion to acknowledge the service to the school. We have a strong support of our parents which we cherish every year. Life is a celebration. We just see people to celebrate it. Blue Day and Hello Day were celebrated in July and August 2022 and the whole school came dressed in blue and yellow on respective days and various thought-provoking activities were also conducted. 
The best teachers teach from the heart, not from the book. It is the teacher that makes a change, not the mere classroom. On a teacher's day, the students recollected the contributions of the teachers in shaping up their lives and thus creating the new society. With due respect, the school paid homage to Dr. S. Radha Krishna, the icon of every teacher, and had presented a bunch of colorful programs to honor them. We celebrated the feast day of a dear director of father and nurse and principal sister Josephine in the month of October and November respectively. Bishop Mar Sebastian Dentwil, Father Sajid Paribnal and Sister Pavitra CMC joined us on this joyous occasion. Independence Day celebration started with a patriotic spirit by hoisting the national flag. The ceremony began with the guard of honor for the chief guest, followed by a colorful march pass led by the head boy Vishal and head girl Mansa. It was celebrated with due reverence for our motherland with patriotic songs and dance performances by the kids on stage. Kanda Rajyotsava celebrations was held on 1st November 2022. The whole school gathered for hoisting the flag and presented a two-hour long program to honor the day. First half of Children's Day was packed with value biscuits, dance programs presented by teachers for the kids and cooking without fire activity for kids was organized too. While the other half day was packed with movie time for the kindergarten kids, it was sports time for the other grades on 14 November 2022 to mark the day for them. Participation by the students and the teachers in the event was very commendable. On 26 November, the school had organized Grandparents' Day to honor the grandparents for the ever-loving nature they have always cherished towards their grandchildren. The kids presented few dance performances and value-based skit in a musical form. Few kids came forward to speak words of gratitude and love they cherished towards the grandparents of the day. The grandfathers and the grandmothers were also made to take part in few entertaining games and given an opportunity to exhibit their hidden talents. A healthy mind resides in a healthy body. When students are physically fit, they will achieve more academically. Bearing this in mind, the school provides ample opportunities for students to perform regular exercises and to play and prove their mettle in various sports and games. During the months of October and November, we had conducted various in-house sports competitions on a weekly basis. The final sports day is scheduled to be conducted in January. The school has always been taking initiatives to get the best talent in the sports arena and that's exactly why we see so many play areas for sports being set up in the school ground including the new Cricket Academy which has been inaugurated today. Initiatives for the forthcoming months for the academic year 2022-2023. Mathematics Literary Week, the month of January February. Girls Cricket Team. To promote gender equality in sports, this year our school is planning to form a girls cricket team for the first time. Competitions that are scheduled to be held in the following months are story writing, debate, English elocution, GK and Max Quiz, slogan writing competitions. The world is but a canvas to the imagination. Why Bhuba, Art and Cultural Day. A cultural and arts day named Waipa is scheduled to be conducted in January. The diverse potentials of the students will be tested by grouping them under four houses during this colorful event. Christ in our public school, as we all know, is celebrating its fourth annual day today with great zeal and enthusiasm. It is an occasion that spreads joy and serves as a platform for students to exhibit their unique talents and build their confidence. This day kindles the spirit of togetherness for students to showcase their talents. I hope you enjoy the cultural programs presented by our students and your evening with us is a pleasurable one. We as Christites believe that your potential to succeed is infinite. So do not leave it untapped. Have a great evening. Thank you. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning, children. Are you all fine today? Yes, yes ma'am. Okay. Answer your roll call. Anamika. Present, ma'am. Daniel. Present, ma'am. Divya. Present, ma'am. Ramya. Present, ma'am. Salman. Present, ma'am. Samantha. Present, ma'am. So all are present, right? Yes, yes ma'am. Dear students, today, for a change, let's go through a Malayalam poem 
that touched my heart. The poem is written by Rajesh Atikayam. Do you all like poems? Oh, yes, yes ma'am. We love listening to poems. Through this wonderful poem, Kunikili, the poet tries to portray the love between a mother and her children. Let's go through it.
Thank you. 
it is the best business in this era oh you need not take into account all these oh lord what a great concern for environmental protection do not pay heed to them i am coming to meet the village officer then we can find a solution for all the problems hey the transaction should not be via bank it should be cash payment okay will you do me a favor please cut those useless trees near to the boundary hey i'll call you later okay dad is it not wrong to cut down the trees and level the paddy fields to build gigantic buildings well if this is the case unfortunately if flood strikes how will we be able to manage just keep quiet divya do not poke your nose into unnecessary matters don't you have anything to study do you realize that i have to spend a great amount of money on an education to make you a doctor or an engineer you will not understand all this stop switch off that computer right now and start studying hello benoy ah yes yes i'm coming this mother earth who gives us life her death we plot for life some good she gives us air and food and home that's not enough for human scream we long as she can stand our love but still she bestows us with her love
today we are going to celebrate Christmas with them. It is a place where the people who are abandoned by others live. We have to make them happy. Teacher, are the inmates of that place orphans? No, they have many relatives. Then why are they in such a situation? Children, people sacrifice their life for their children. They bring them up with great love, care and concern. But as these kids grow up, they tend to forget the parents' selfless love. As these parents grow old, they consider them to be a burden and teach them in some oldish homes while they are lost in their world of fantasy. So we children will have to make them happy and make them feel the joy of Christmas. Yes, we do. We are ready. Let's go. 
to bribe some of the natives of that place. We may have to consult the politicians too. Dad, tomorrow it's your annual day. Won't you come? No, no, no. I can't come, dear. I'm a bit busy. Dad, this is not done. You didn't even come to sign my progress report. You're always busy with your business. How superb it would be. How happy they would be. I'm not that fortunate. All these years, I witnessed the complete annual day program on DVD. to go anywhere. If you remain indoors and daydream, you won't be aware of the happenings outside. Yes, I know. I was just recollecting all my past memories. Now, stop joking and get ready fast. Dad has already started his packing. Mom, what's special? Are we going to Grandma's house? Vivia, our house is surrounded by water on all sides. You come out and see for yourself. What? Water? From Jammu and Kashmir now to Karnataka, where from June 1st, so far 12 people have lost their lives and death of livestock has gone up to 65. Chief Minister Vasavraj Bomai and concerned district in charge ministers have instructed officials on the ground to take immediate measures where landslides have taken place to shift people uh, to safer places and clear the roads. A total of 735 crore has been set aside by the deputy commissioners of respective districts to take up the rescue and relief operations. So rain's causing a mayhem there in Karnataka as well. This is the Panjikal Gram Panchayat, which has at least about 1,800 families. Now, the place that we're reporting from is a channel where the landslide has been reported. It was about two days ago, but uh, the situation is precarious because there are several residents who continue to live in this particular same area. Workers are 
on at the moment. Now the work is on. What we see is that they are trying to clear the obstruction, whether that is for that matter the mud, boulders or even trees. They bought tree cutters and there are enough number of people here on ground trying to clear the obstruction from this particular channel which is, which is uh, having strong currents and to allow a free flow of water which is reaching the Netravati Reservoir. Over the past two to three days we've been seeing incessant rains and owing to the continuous rains various reservoirs here in the state of Karnataka, especially the Almati Reservoir, the Tugabhadra Reservoir, the Netravati. Now they have all been, the water levels have been rising, but as far as the IMD is concerned, the IMD also says that the red alert has been sounded for coastal districts till about July 10th. Schools and colleges will remain shut. But as far as the work that's on here on ground, at least about 1,800 families just in this particular perimeter where the work is on, where the landslide has been reported, there is one particular house atop this particular uh, hill that we are seeing where the work is on. According to the officers, it can come crashing down any moment. In Bantwal, with camera person Kumar Shrija for NDTV. Manoj, your house too is flooded, isn't it? Yes, Roy. My house is fully submerged in water. Everything is over. Don't worry, Manoj. Allah gave and Allah took it away. It's all Allah's play. Yes, Sika. God gave us everything. That's right. But it's not God who took it away. It's we humans who destroyed everything. Keep quiet, Divya. Is this the way you speak to elders? I will not keep quiet, Dad. I will say it frankly and openly. Young generations like me need to realize it, and so I will speak frankly. Dad, we need to understand that it's we who have exploited this peaceful nature. All the waste we dumped into the rivers is being given back to us by them. We misused and devastated the earth without its permission, and now our mother earth did the same to us without our permission. This is nature's reaction to all that we did towards her. Don't we need a change? Sure, we need to think differently. Dear child, what you said is a fact. We should never forget our nature while moving towards development, but should always protect her as a mother protects her child in her womb. Earth is our mother, the one who takes care of his mother will be blessed by Almighty God. Let's have a young generation who can imbibe the spirit and guide their little ones towards sustainable development and safeguard the nature. Children, say aloud, save nature, protect nature. Save nature, protect nature. Vedanada Sudhe 